If you're considering transitioning from carrying your kayaks and canoes on roof racks to using trailers to transport them, here's a little tip for those living in areas with toll roads. Fishyacker.com, the original kayak rigging video series. Hey guys, I typically transport my kayak these days on a trailer, a lightweight, small, single axle trailer behind my car. I currently live in Pennsylvania. I've got family in Virginia, the Carolinas, all down south. I travel up and down the east coast to see family, to do tournaments, to simply fish, you name it. A lot of these areas have toll roads. Well, if I know I'm going to an area that has toll roads, I'll often simply car top my kayak instead of using the trailer. Reason being, you really need to check your local toll roads and see how much they charge for a trailer. Because what they're going to do, they're going to charge you per axle on the car. If it's two axles, it's going to be charged as a standard, you know, car or small vehicle. But once you add that third trailer to it, it's often classified as a truck. So you, you may get you know a small amount more in your toll. It may be doubled, it could be tripled, it could be more. So you need to check out the areas with the toll roads you're gonna be going to because when you actually pull up to the toll to pay or if you're using say an easy pass, you may be really surprised at how much they charge. Yeah, most of our kayak trailers are super lightweight. One guy can usually pick them up off the ground. They're so small and easy to, you know, to maneuver around. But they don't really care. The, the, the toll companies are actually looking, you know, at the number of, of axles because it simplifies it for them. So if you're going to an area with tolls, go on their website, see how much it costs to have a small trailer towed. It may be minimal, but it may be substantially more. And a lot of toll roads now are going to the position, or even some general, you know, highways in general don't even allow trailers to begin with. So before you start trailing your kayak, make sure you're going somewhere that you can even you know use your trailer but that being said I love to use a trailer it's a whole lot easier to whip one of those things around you're going from point A to point B to get it on and off to launch it all that good stuff instead of you know sticking it up on top of a car or truck a whole lot easier with a trailer but it can really be an inconvenience on your wallet if you're not paying attention to how much the tolls may be on it, because like I said, the toll companies, you know, these, these toll authorities, these, these roadway authorities, are typically, they got to simplify it because they don't need to be, you know, necessarily just reviewing cameras every time or have somebody in a toll booth, especially if it's automated. They're just going to have the, you know, counting mechanism to count how many axles you have. So you might, you might get charged the same as some big honking, you know, box truck with three axles on it or something. But uh, just food for thought if you're going to trailer. Like I said, that being said, I typically do trailer. But uh, like I said, I'm going to toll roads. I often just throw it up on top of the car anyway. Thanks for watching fishyacker.com. As always, please subscribe to the Fishyacker channel on YouTube. Like us on Facebook. And we'll catch you on the water.